Orthotic settings. Okay. So, any questions? Bruce. Larry, when you keep referring uh, to default settings, is that the setting that it leaves uh, TNEC after we send it out, or is it default when the store saves it anywhere along the way? Default settings is, when, is how it is when it leaves here. It's how the software is set up. So if we go back, just to show you, let's go back to where we just were, which was Arch definition. If somebody changes this and hits save, they can always go back to how we had it originally. So it doesn't keep changing uh, the default settings. Default is really how it was set up originally, which it's a nice uh, safety net. Uh, and it, it also should give people the comfort to go ahead and play with the settings because you can always hit default and go back to where you were. You had a follow-up, Bruce? If a customer is not happy with what we consider default, do they call Joe at the hotline and, and can the default setting be changed so that they can go back to that default? Well, remember, everything is set up to be saved and adjusted for their particular store. So, but I'm saying they may want to adjust it from a given point, and they don't want to have to go back to our default to get it to their. Yeah, typically if they save it, it would really do the same thing. If somebody, we've never had this, but if somebody had a request to have different default settings where their default features, we could always do it. That's the beauty of software. Um, it can be flexible and changed. However, we have it set up where they can save it to work for their particular store. The default is just a safety net to get back to, uh, to the beginning and to give the store the confidence to play around with it. A bit. And you know, we believe that the more uh, the store or doctor understands how the technology thinks, the more they use it, because it really is an amazing tool. And, uh, and typically, when, often when there's uh, questions about it, it's from a lack of understanding on how the technology works. Any other questions? And again, we encourage customer questions too. Don't take that as a, uh, uh, to mean that we don't want to hear from you. And, and very often, by the way, mo uh, changes to the software that have evolved over our different software packages, they usually come from customers' requests and complaints. So most of these features built that are built in were not in version 2.0. And as we went through the years, and I'm not going to say every question we get is, is brilliant or smart, but there's been a ton of great ideas that came from our customers. And we <coughs> listen, and we put it into future software packages. Joe. Where are the, where are the settings saved? Are they saved in the computer, or how are they, where are they saved at? They're saved on the software, which sits on the computer. OK. All right, next section. So we now go to orthotic settings, and we'll briefly cover both. Now, this is how, we, how the machine determines which Linko, not the Linko category, meaning sports, casual, golf, dress, but with which Linko style within the category we recommend. So this isn't about the L4 versus the L3 or L2 series. This is about whether it's a 420 or a 405 or a 400. So let's click on Linko <laughs> settings and talk about it for a few minutes. Now, what iStep does, and the way the iStep Linko system works, is by we get our three essentials, and from arch type and pressure points, we put you in one of 36 categories. So for example, your left foot could be low, your right foot medium arch. And that left foot could have metatarsal pressure, the right one might not. And when you add it all up, there's 36 different possibilities. And based on those 36, we determine which Linko you, you should have. So these tabs up here are based on the metatarsal pressure, and that's just to help you organize it. When we first delivered this, we had all 36 options on the same screen, and customers said it was too confusing, so, or co more confusing than it needed to be. So we adjusted it to have these tabs. So the first tab, if you click on it, which is you know, what should pop up first, is for feet with no metatarsal pressure on either foot. So left, the options are nine different options. Left foot low, right foot low. Left low, right medium, low high, medium low, and all with no met pressure um, on, on, uh, on either feet. Remember, from earlier on in the training, what determines the met pressure was we had it on, anyone remember the settings? For, it was 14 and four. So, how that's set up can impact this as well. 
So for here we have, these are all feet that have, like mine, with no metatarsal pressure on either feet. Now I'm a medium, medium, both arches were medium, no met, no met. So it recommends a Linko L400, right? Joe Clark, anyone remember what, what foot type Joe had? Low. Joe had low and low, no met, no met. No met pressure, no met pressure. So he was low, low, no met, no met. So an L4? 20. 20, right? Two low arch feet, you're gonna get the L420, which is the post. Steve? On the uh, high, high version scenario, it's no met, no met, and then it's an O5. The O5 is a met. Can you explain that? Good question, yeah. Now, the way we have it set up, and I'll, this will circle to your, your question. The way we have it set up, is that if either feet are low, especially, and not if it's, if it's a low high arch foot combination, that's very unusual, that's usually from some kind of trauma incident, um, then we just put them in as if they're a medium, if they're a low and a high. But if one foot's low and one's medium, we, get, we post you, we give you a, a, we recommend a linko with a post. So if your left foot's low and your right foot's medium, we're gonna, we deliver this recommended on a 420. However, for met, what, to, how do we have it set up to recommend a linko with a met pad? The way we have it is that both feet have to either be high arch or have met pressure. This is a little tricky, so I'll, I'll repeat it one more time. Both your left and right foot have to do, have one of two things, high arch or met pressure, or both. But they have to qualify. We don't have it just for one. Doesn't mean we're necessarily right, or you know, there's different schools of thought on this. We're a little more conservative recommending met pads than we are with posts in our system. And again, there's some really smart people out there that feel more people should get met pads. So we have it set up with a lot of flexibility. So here, we have two feet that are high arch. So we recommend a linko with a met pad. Here we have a high and a medium, so we recommend a neutral. Now, if we had a high and a medium, and the right foot had metatarsal pressure. Let me click on that one right here. So this one here is, by clicking this tab, this is, a, this is one of the, again, one of the 36 categories that you can fall into. Left foot high, right foot medium. Your left high arch foot had no metatarsal pressure, but your right medium foot had met pressure. Both feet would meet one of the two thresholds. One's high arch, one's got met pressure. So we recommend for that foot an 05 with a MET pad. So it's a great question. And that's our system for placing you with the right Linko. Now, if you as a store owner feel that I, anybody who has at least one foot with MET pressure, I want to give them a MET pad. And again, there are people under our roof that really feel that that's the right way. You can adjust that very easily by changing these fields. So. By clicking on this, if you want to make it where my, my one foot, medium arch, medium arch, no met, met, right? Well, this, these are two, this is like my feet, two medium arch, but one of them had pretty bad met pressure. We have it set up where it's neutral. There's a, you know, there, you can make a valid argument that I, want, that I want to try a met pad with that customer to make sure that right foot uh, is relieved on their met pressure. All you would do is change this to what? 05 and then save that's it and if you get in trouble click default but so you would just change that to 05 and you can do that for all of these anyone want to guess what the most common adjustment to this is anyone want to guess kind of a tough question no met the most common one is people a lot of stores don't carry the 25s because the 425 is only or the the 25 is only 5% of the population now, what type of foot would get a, 20, a 425? Who remembers? Low arch, Low arch and met pressure. That's not that common. So if I were a store owner and I was just getting started, maybe I wouldn't put the 25 in either. I could special order that. Um, depends on your inventory levels. Depends on, on uh, again, we have a lot of customers that do carry it. But that's the most common adjustment. So as salespeople for us, if you have a customer that doesn't buy the 25s, what you do is you go in here, and again, let's go to where the 25s are. So here's the tab that has two met, 
uh, met, and you're going to have low, low, met, met, and here's where the 25s are, you would change that to a 20 or an 05. And you know, most people go to an 05. They, they, uh, for those feet, they do a neutral and, uh, and a, uh, a met pad, but some do 20. You can make an argument for either one. Ideally, they have the 25s in stock, but that's a common adjustment. And if a store, some stores actually don't carry any met pads. I would say that's less than 5% of the stores, but we have some that just have posted and neutral, and they might keep a self-adhesive met pad in there uh, in, in, on the side where they can put it on. So he, this is an area that is adjusted sometimes based on the inventory of a particular store. Steve, you had a question. Yeah, for further cl clarification, go back, can you go back to default, please? Absolutely. OK. Again, on the high, high scenario, okay. once you get back to default, right, it's no met, no met. No the met, way, no the way met. So original. High, high, no met, no met. Right, but it's an 05. Perfect. So if it's high, high, why doesn't it auto automatically default to met, met, as opposed to no met? No met. Because sometimes you can have high arch feet that just don't qualify for the, uh, the, what the machine picks up as met pressure. We, so we have it set to 14 and 4. So you might have, I don't know if any of you have a, an extreme high arch foot that we could use. Did, um, did um, you, Steve? Yeah, I mean, I don't have any uh, socks on. But. Okay, that's okay with me. You all right? Coming up? I'm happy to. Okay. Come on up. Let's go back and do a test. Got copper socks on the rack line. Yeah, it's okay. Thanks, Steve. The only downside to not wearing socks is sometimes the mat, the rubber conducted mat, gets stuck to the foot. And when you lift off, it'll lift the conducted mat up. And remember, what happens if the mat, if a corner of the mat is up in the, uh, in the cavity? What will happen? It'll measure everybody in 18. Same size. The infrared or 16 or 17 because it thinks it's part of the foot. So just make sure the four corners are down. Okay, here we go. Ah, oh, it's not that high. You might, you might actually oh, come in a, in a medium. You're right on the border between medium and high arch, Steve. It's going to be close. <laughs> High and medium. So you had one. <laughs> your right foot came up. You can see 11 and 10 on the depth. Thanks. So you were, for your size, 10 and a half, you were a high and a medium. So for you, it would, it, but actually, the interesting thing, it's a good example, you had met pressure on both. So it recommended an 05. Anybody have a higher arch? Okay. Joe, you want to come up? Yes. Let's do one on the low arch. Um, but uh, okay, and then so we have one more high arch. So we'll Sam, we'll use you next. We'll get a couple of examples for this. All right, Joe. Oops, hold on. We have to fix. Now Steve's feet pulled up. Okay, hop on. All right, remember Joe was no met pressure, and he has really bad flat feet. There we go. So again, we're drawing the arch line. And what do you think that Joe's number is going to be? Three, four, somewhere around there? Okay, so Joe has low and low. It recommended an L420, right? Okay, thank you, Joe. Recommended a link over the post. Sam, you want to come up? Oh, no, we have two Sams. I'm sorry, this Sam. So, sorry. Sorry, Samantha and Sam. So, so roll up your pants a little, Sam. Do you, Samantha, you don't have a high arch, or do you? No, no okay. I have a medium arch. Sam said he has a high arch, so let's see. Hop on. Yeah, you're, all, you're really a medium arch, Sam. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry to disappoint you. It's uh, medium to high. You're kind of in between, but I think you're going to come up as a medium, especially your right. Let's see. Yeah, medium arch. Sorry to disappoint you, but your, uh, your feet are more normal than you thought. Um, okay, so we happen to have a class where we have some great examples of moderately raised arch feet. We have very low arches. Um, 
Normally there's somebody with a pes cavus foot, but we, out of the 10 or 12 people we have, we, we don't have any examples, of, but that's okay. Remember where you can go to see a high arch foot, you go to menu, view, and foot types. And from here, you can pull up a high arch image. Okay, I'll turn off the analysis mode, close it out. Okay, so that's really going back to configuration. Oops, orthotic settings, Linko. And these are the different categories. And here's, and it, we even have the code set up for, for you. For low is low arch, just to explain what everything is. Your Linko code, 00 is neutral, 05 is a met pad, a 20 has a rear foot post, and a 25 has posted in a met pad. And again, just to summarize, if one foot is low and the other is medium, or both are low, do they get a post? Yes. <laughs> but both feet have to be either high arch or with met pressure to get what? A met pad. You guys got it. OK. It can be a little tricky in the beginning. But that's how the system works, how we deliver it. But it is all set up to be flexible. And if you have a doctor or a store that says, hey, I want to really uh, put met pads on these types of feet, we can adjust it based on their professional expertise and, and how they want to uh, operate their practice. Okay. We even, for certain foot types, will allow them to have a custom orthotic as a recommendation too. <clears throat> All right, next thing is custom select. The custom select settings is a little different. And again, most customers use this with Linko orthotics, but for those of you who are using custom select, it's a more simple system. Custom select only has three different styles, low, medium, and high arch. There's no met pads. So it's a more basic system. I think uh, uh, Linko's variety uh, gives you a better chance overall at really finding optimum comfort for the customer. But there is a valid place for custom select. And I think, in, in, in our humble opinion, I think after Linko, it's the best orthotic system on the market. So these also have copper built into the insole, which is nice for antifungal and antibacterial properties. So for the custom select series, um, what we have is we have only nine different options because we're, it doesn't take into account met pressure. So that's, that's no longer relevant. It's just low and medium arch because it doesn't come with or without met pads. For this, we actually have it where if one foot is high and one is medium, you get the high arch or uh, orthotic. If one is low and one is medium, you get the low. So it's set up, it can be changed. The 1740 is the low, the 60 is the medium, and the 80 is the high arch product. And it can be adjusted. We're, we, we, move, we, we do it this way because there's no met pads involved. So we're, uh, we, we just focus on arch type, and, and uh, you know, that's how we feel the system is, is set up best. But you have the flexibility to adjust it. OK, guys, any questions on this section? Is that a question? Or? No? 